What's up guys, this is Fred here and this is part 2 for the animating facial expressions in sort of advanced terms. So we left off by doing the right eyebrow and the right wink, or left wink should I say. Um, so we're just going to carry on now. First of all you want to click on it, hit enter and rename that and we call it left wink. And then, oops, sorry. Then what we're going to do is going to start animating the mouth because this is a little bit tricky. So we're just going to take a little bit more time. Click on your mesh and click on your point selector. Um, what you want to do is you want to select the points where the lower lip, uh, where the lower lip is, the bottom of the lower lip. So if we oops, hit the selection tool and then do it, then we can just select a few bits. So if I select them and probably these ones as well bring these all the way down and maybe these ones as well so we don't have to do that later right so now we've got this sort of line down we need to go to the next line and bring that down so this is kind of where the edge of the lip is then we should zoom in and go to the next line Alright, and then we can bring that down, sort of about, I don't know, here. We can always edit them after, as long as you keep them sort of visible. And we've got these ones now, which we can bring down. So we'll bring those ones, uh, we'll leave them like that, and then we'll just bring these ones, no, actually, we'll bring these ones up slightly. And all you have to do is just select. Oh, Jesus. I didn't do it right. Ah, here's an error. Now, good way to learn. <laughs> I've done all that and it's just snapped back into place because I did not create a new pose. And I didn't do it on a pose. So, click base pose and add pose. Then we can do it. Should have known about that. But, you know, like I said, mistakes happen. I still do them. I think that's what throws people off pretty much is the fact that they've got to do it all again but uh, yeah let's bring our lip down again and then we'll go back and do the other line bring that down again about here Uh, here and here and here. We'll bring that one down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Bring that one down. And bring the side ones up a little bit as well. Bring them up together. So now his bottom lip is sort of open. Yeah, it's a little bit straight, but we, we can just want we just want to get the mouth open first because that's the hardest part. So again, top lip part up there we go. And now we need the other part, so we'll just do these together. Actually, no, we won't add these ones. We'll lift these ones up. And we'll lift these up as well. So now we've got an open mouth, you can see, sort of. Oh, it looks alright, actually, to be fair. But um, obviously, it's teeth. But like I said in the last one, oh, I don't know if I said in the last one, because I've recorded, tried to record this a few times and I've made mistakes. <laughs> But yeah, because of the shadows, you won't see his teeth, so you will be alright. I uh, just want to make sure everything's fine. As you can see, you can see his lip and it just dips down, so if you go back into here, if you zoom in, you might just be able to lift that one up a bit. Here we go. Lift that one up, and that keeps his lip level. Well, you won't see it there, but you know, it, it sort of keeps it 
All right, and call this just mouth open. Now you can set your, you can set his. Uh, how do I put it? it? To make someone talk, it's best. Um, wait, wait a minute, buzzing. One minute. I'll just leave that. Um, yeah, like um, if I just go onto Google. And I put in, oh, I don't know, face expressions vowels. Um, the reason you do vowels, here's a good one, is because if you do the facial expression for A, E, I, O, U, then you've got, you're pretty much set for any sort of letter uh, because you can combine an A and an E together to make A. I don't, you know what I mean? You can just combine them because, like I said in the last tutorial, you can do. Actually, I will actually show you. That's the mouth open. So, wah, wah. so don't forget, we've got the mouth open, but the area around it will also move as well. So, if we move these down slightly, uh, maybe these ones as well. Don't know what that would look like, but yeah, that's his face. That's his mouth opening. If I then make, I don't know, I'll, I'll copy and paste it because I can't really be asked to um, o open the mouth again. But okay, so we got our. We'll close this pose down. We got our pose again. So what we can do is try and make it into a O sound. So um, that O fucking what do you call it? Um, facial expression. So what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing these points in a bit closer to the center because it's going to be sort of like a his mouth's going to be like a circle. So there we are. We're just selecting all the points on his lip and we're bringing them in closer. Same with the top. There we go, get in there. Right. Then if we get this point and bring that in oh one minute. Now this is gonna be the hardest part. Um Select this point, bring that in. Select this point, bring that in. And then just select all three of these points, bring them in. And maybe these three, and just bring it in between this point and this point. So that should do. Now that's going to look stupid because it's not sort of curved. But that will be fine. That will, uh, we'll, we'll manage. So bring that in, bring that in, make it a little bit smoother, bring these three in, and then bring these three in as well to about here. Now, if I just show you the difference between them, there's not much difference, but, uh, my bad. You can see, the, the side of the lips are brought in just a little bit more. So if we go to animate, if we want to make a, a like uh, an expression, so which one is it? That's sort okay. We can sort of like we can go one, two, which is like okay. That's two different poses, but then you can combine. You can go halfway with the fit, like I don't know, go seventy-five percent with the first one, and maybe a little bit with the second one, and that, and that has just created a whole new pose altogether. So that is how you would. Um, combine sort of different poses to create a new one if you know what I mean so maybe have that one but with a little bit more open like say you just wanna oh that looks really good but I just want his lips this lip to be higher up and this lip to be low down if you just move that one up slightly that sorts it out you don't need to go editing it all again because you've got so many poses with your mouth obviously I haven't got that many but the more time you take creating your pose to what it is here 
Um, mate, it will take you a bit of time, but you know that's what's going to get you good results is taking your time. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much how to sort his mouth out. So if I just set all these to naught, now we're going to go into animating them. Um, so I, I don't know whether I showed this on the last tour, but click on the post wolf and you go to animate, which I already have, but you should be on edit. Click animate. And um, <clears throat> here we are. Oh, by the way, if you go to click on your point and you're like, oh yeah, and it won't let you move it, you're like, shit, what's, that, what's happening? Just check you're not in animate. You should be in edit when you come to do all that stuff. If you're in animate, it won't let you. So just a little tip. So you click on animate and then you've got pretty much put all these down to naught and then you've got your base pose. And then you can start you know, binding material, you know, uh, binding poses to create a different pose. So, we're going to select this button, which is the auto keyframe button, if you didn't know that already. And what we can do is we can just start this one at um, naught here. Then we're going to bring the right eyebrow lit up. Um, at the same time, we're going to start a left wink. So, go forward there. We got the left wink. Maybe we're gonna have a little bit of a mouth opening, but not much. So start, just drag it forward and drag it down, just so it sets the keyframe on not, and move it forward and drag it ever so slightly. Huh, <laughs> it's pretty good actually. And if we come all the way here. And then just settle them down. It's more like a. So that is how you animate. You just set auto keyframe button and you start, you know, obviously working. But my advice to you would always be to start it off on naught. So, like, hit the auto keyframe button. And where you want it to start, so say I want it to start halfway, I'll go to halfway. Um, and whatever one I wanted to choose, you need to set a keyframe down for naught first. So you just you just go to drag the parameters and just go down to naught and it will set a keyframe. And then you would set another one. So therefore it starts from naught and then does the movement. If you don't set one for naught, I'll show you what happens. Uh, yeah, I'll just start that there. Uh, but if you drag back, it's going to stay there. Um, so you won't actually get movement. So yeah, that is sort of part two. I don't know whether there'll be any more parts. Um, depends on you guys, really. If you want to see more parts, uh, anything else you, know, you want to brush up on, um, then just comment below or you know send me an inbox, usual stuff, and then I'll try my best to get you that. Um, so yeah, this is the animating facial expressions in a little bit more detail, uh, with a few more little explanations and such. So please like and comment, share if you haven't, hope you had a good Christmas, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that is. Peace.